Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another video tutorial in this video I am going to talk about vertebrate hormones other than birds and mammals uh, endocrine system of vertebrates other than birds and mammals vertebrates other than birds and mammals have some of similar endocrine system but difference also exist there are following aspects of endocrinology that relate the species differences among the vertebrates number one hormones or the neuropeptides with the same function in different species may not be chemically identical it means the hormones having the same function in different species may be chemically different from each other certain hormones are species specific with respect to their function mean the hormones having one function in a species may have another function in another species this is the species specific in functions conversely some hormone produced in one species may be completely functional in another species uh, the hormones produced in one species may be, may perform the same function in another species a hormone from one species may elicit a different response in the same target cells or the tissues of a different species the hormone producing in one species may perform the different response in other species although the target cells or the tissues are the same in that species let's discuss the examples of these aspects we know that is uh, melatonin pigment is responsible for the darkening of skin in many fishes amphibians and reptiles hormones uh, melatonin from the pineal gland that is it means secreted from the pineal gland and is responsible for the variation of the colors of the skin when this hormone is produced by one species is injected into another species this can induce dramatic color change this hormone that is the melatonin when is it is injected to another species this may cause the color change uh, look at the diagram there is a frog on the left side this was injected to a water having the melatonin pigment and the frog on the right side received the injection of melanocyte stimulating hormone which is also known as msh there is another hormone the prolactin prolactin we know that it is produced by the pituitary glands and in some animals it is responsible for the reproductive migration uh, such as in salamanders this prolactin causes brooding behavior in some fishes and it also help to control water and salt balances and is essential for certain salt water fishes to enter fresh water during the spawning so prolactin have different functions in different animals in some animals it is responsible for the reproductive migration while in some fishes it causes the brooding behavior and maintains the water and salt balance and also essential for the uh, movement of fishes from marine water to the fresh water during the spawning the hormones in different vertebrates may regulate their uh, may regulate related but different process for example in most animals thyroxin and triiodothyronine regulate overall metabolism uh, such as the growth or the metabolic rate actually they control in amphibians they play another important role that is the metamorphosis so metamorphosis in frogs it is controlled by the change changes in the concentration of three hormones that is prolactin thyroxine and triiodothyronine when there is low concentration of thyroxine and triiodothyronine and high prolactin concentration in young tadpoles it stimulates the larval growth and it prevents the metamorphosis and when the hypothalamus and the pituitary glands develop in the 
growing tadpole the hypothalamus releases thyroid stimulating hormone and prolactin inhibiting hormone as a result the concentration of thyroid uh, thyroxine and the uh, triiodothyronine is increased and the concentration of prolactin is decreased because it is inhibited this causes the metamorphosis many changes during the metamorphosis occurs that may include the tail desorption growth of the front legs growth of uh, the large mouth and the loss of the gills and formation of the lungs these are some changes that occur during the metamorphosis the ultimobranchial glands is present in jaw fishes and primitive tetrapods from ventral to the esophagus so this gland produces the hormone calcitonin that helps to regulate the concentration of blood calcium so in jaw fishes and primitive tetrapods there is a gland present known as ultimobranchial glands this gland produces a hormone that is the calcitonin and is responsible for the concentration of calcium in blood so look at the diagram uh, here is the chromaffin tissue we will discuss it later and uh, here is the ultimobranchial gland that is in the uh, uh, near to the esophagus and this is thyroid glands and the pineal glands are also present so chromaffin chromaffin tissues these tissues produce two hormones epinephrine or norepinephrine these hormones also known as the adrenaline or the non adrenaline and produced by the thyroid glands and produced by the adrenal glands uh, which is near to the kidney these hormones that is the epinephrine or norepinephrine causes vasoconstriction increase blood pressure changes in the heart rate and increase blood glucose level these hormones are involved in the fight and flight reactions so guys this was all about the vertebrate hormones other than birds and mammals and in the next video tutorial we'll discuss about the hormones of the bird